Korea. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When entering, there should be an old couple arguing in front of the receptionist's counter. If there is no one in front of the desk, leave. You may return a week later to check again. When and if they do show up, walk up to the old man of the couple and present him a mirror. Any kind will do. He will then show the mirror to his wife, who will then laugh inhumanly loud and walk off. The man will walk off as well, but not before handing you a small piece of paper. Wait until the couple drives off, and then turn to the receptionist. Read off the numbers on the piece of paper to the receptionist, and place the paper inside your pocket. She will stare at you for a few moments, confused, and write them down. Afterwards, ask to see the holder of grief. The woman will suddenly look as if she has known you would arrive for some time, and will summon an elderly woman to guide you. If it so happens that the guide does not fit this description, immediately run outside of the building back to your current place of residence. Break all of the mirrors you own and wait three days before exiting. If you do not, hell itself will seem to be a blessing compared to what you will endure. If, however, the guide fits the description, follow her outside the institution and into a nearby dilapidated building. Enter and wait for the old woman to bow and exit before continuing. Slowly locate and enter the nearest staircase, then walk up towards the ninth story and open the door there. If it is locked, well, take comfort in knowing your death shall be quick. Enter and walk down the corridor, which will gradually be filled with an overpowering, mildew-like smell. Yell out, You don't need to suffer like this, and the smell shall gradually fade. If it does not, the smell will become so strong that it will cause you to fall into an eternal slumber. If you manage to stop the stench, Continue walking until you reach the end of the corridor and open the office door. What you are about to experience may drive you, as it has many others, to kill yourself. Pictures surrounding the small desk in the middle of the room depict every sad and depressing point of your life, amplified to an extreme degree. All of the terrible feelings you have felt will ravage upon your very being. Despite this mental onslaught, you must resist the urge to commit suicide. Walk over to the desk and sit down as fast as you can, and ask in a stern voice, Why must they continue to hurt? The figure will gracefully wave his hand in the air causing the pictures and feelings to fade away. What is left is a simple executive's office overlooking a vast wasteland. Still looking away from you, the figure will ask in a deep voice for a drink. Walk over to the small cedar chest to the right of you and open it. There should be two bottles inside. Be sure to check the contents. If it has the same mildew smell as before, do not take this bottle. Take the other one instead and quietly place it on the desk. The figure will turn around, revealing a very tired and sad-looking man. He will speak of all of his mistakes and follies, which drove him to destroy everything that had any value to him. Be sure to sympathize with him, although you must be extremely careful on how you word your comments.
The slightest hint of mockery will cause him to kill you in the most brutal way possible. When he is finished, he will smile and fade away into dust. Grab the bottle on the desk and leave the office. You will suddenly appear in a graveyard in front of a large tombstone. Upon examining the tombstone, you will discover that it is the same grave of the man you just listened to. Pay your respects and leave at once. Go back to the same mental institution or halfway house you started from, where you will find the old couple bickering once again. They will quiet upon seeing you, and the wife will hand you a small bottle, the same bottle you took out of the office. This bottle is Object 488 of 538. The contents it holds are extraordinarily dangerous and should be kept safe, especially from them. But by looking carefully at the bottle, you will be assured that their ordeals are not your own.